Hey guys, what's up? Thomas here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Optifine 1.6.2 for your Minecraft. So first, what you want to need is, or what you want to get is, um, up or Minecraft 1.6.2. If you don't have it, um, install it. You should have it by now. <laughs> um, and also you're gonna need Optifine. So you can go to this website. I'll have the link to it in the description. Um, you're gonna go down and gonna find for Minecraft 1.6.2 and um, you can download Ultra if you have like a quad core PC or better um, if your PC is alright or like it's middle it's pretty good um, get standard or if it's pretty bad you get light um, now what you're gonna do is you wanna click on whatever version you want so I'm gonna click on Ultra but I already downloaded it so I'm just gonna open up here so this is what it look like you open up the folder or the WinRAR or the file with WinRAR or whatever and this is what it comes up with and um so um now what you wanna do is you're gonna go to percent or you're gonna go to the start bar and uh, well, if if you have Windows 8, you're in the top right corner. Search, and you're gonna go run, and you're gonna search um, percent app data percent, and you're gonna press enter, and you're gonna go into the dot Minecraft folder. You're gonna double click, um, and then you go to versions and open that up. And um, here you're gonna go to the 1.6.2, and you're gonna right click on it, and you click copy, and you're gonna go paste it. And uh, you're gonna rename it to um, Optifine MC. We'll see. We'll name it that. Um, and you go into and name these files the exact same as this. So Opti or Optifine MC and Optifine MC. All right. Now what you're going to do is open the JSON file with a uh, notepad or wordpad. Um, you just go, you can just click uh, open with and you just find the thing you want to do it with. So I'm just going to open it up. And um, so between the ID and time, you're going to change this. Um, you're going to change that to uh, whatever you have for the other thing. So optif, optifine um, MC. Um, make sure I have that correct. I think I don't know if that's capital or not. Um, yes, it is. All right. Um, then you click file and save, and then you or exit exit that off. Now you can go to the executable jar file. You're gonna open with um, WinRAR, and you're gonna uh, close this off for now. Um, you're gonna take this to the side, the Optifine MC. Uh, file there and the the Optifine um, file here. So you're gonna you're gonna delete the um, meta in folder and you're gonna call you're gonna click on one of these files and you're gonna go do Control A. You select them all and you're gonna drag them over to this over here and you click OK. Now, pretty much you're done right now. So you're just gonna uh, exit both of them off and um, I'm just gonna open up Minecraft, and um, once your Minecraft is open, you're gonna have to um, click New Profile right here, and you can name it whatever you want. Uh, I'll just name it Optifine MC because that's what I've been doing so far. Um, now you're gonna use go to Use Version, and uh, hold up, I think it messed up right here. I don't know why it's uh, why it didn't work there. Um, yeah, so you're going to click new profile and, um, you're going to name it whatever you want, uh, up to fiend. Oh, okay. Glitch there. Um, oh, my computer just chugging along right now. Um, up to fiend MC and wait a minute. All right, hold up, it's working now. All right, sorry guys about that. Um, I don't know why. Uh, all right. Um, all right, let's let's create a new profile here. All right, now it's working. Um, uh, Optifine 
MC. Then you go to use, go to use version, and um, you're going to go to the one I did, so opt or opt fiend MC, and uh, yeah, um, and you'll say profile. Also, if you want to change the Java arguments here, you can change it to you can allocate more memory or less memory, depending on what you want to do to hopefully increase your FPS as well. Um, and you just keep it as that, and say profile, and um, you're gonna go to the profile, and you click the one that. You did there so optifine mc and click play again sorry about that guys uh my computer just chugging along right there i don't know um why i was uh doing that um anyways um i'm gonna go into a game here and um so actually i'll make this bigger so you guys can see um first option if you're in you already don't know minecraft uh, when you install Optifine is you can uh, zoom in so if you press control um, You can zoom in far away. You can see the beautiful little water patch right there and um, yeah, so You use an option you can change that so instead of pressing control you can press uh, another button and it'll work like that and um, All right now. I'm going to show you guys the best settings um, You can go to uh, video settings and uh, you'll get something like this and um, so uh, I'm gonna show you the best settings uh, it really it, you can just play around with the settings as much as you want until you get like the hotspot and um, the max FPS um, so for the graphics put it as fast render distance don't go to short or below I suggest going to at least short plus 32 um, and go up to like normal 48 or something like that um, for those people that really can't run far or in distance on their computer um, so just keep it um, about that range um, next go to performance uh, max FPS um, smooth lighting off um, GUI scale normal smaller could be better um, it says but I don't know I don't really like small so I can't really see anything um, advanced OpenGL keep it off or fast um, I suggest off I, it's worked the best for me uh, chunk loading you need to do default um, smooth or multi-core default is not a great either do smooth or multi-core um, smooth is great um, multi-core uh, it says it removes um, stuttering and freezes caused by chunk loading but uh, it does freeze itself when you put it on there, so sometimes it does that. So um, you really got to play around with that setting. You can do smooth or multi-core, uh, whatever you want. Um, fog off, fog start 0.8. Uh, you don't want fog starting close to you. That's kind of crappy. But <laughs> um, server textures off, quality. Um, I just keep it the same. I don't want like bad looking biomes and like snow and all that stuff. Um, now go to details. Uh, I turn stars off. Um, any, anything else you can do whatever you want. I just leave it on. Animations. You can there's buttons that turn it all on or all off. So I just keep it all off. And I have particles on like decreased. I guess that's great. Um, performance. I have both smooth FPS and smooth the world off. Um, it really depends you can just play around with it and see how much FPS you get with uh, one setting to another or both uh, it seems like it works best best for me if it pulls them off load far off preload chunks off chunk updates for frame one dynamic updates off and lazy chunk loading off so now you're gonna go to uh, what is it other um, you turn off weather if you want uh, pretty much everything here doesn't matter. Um, anyway, guys. Anyways, guys. Um, hope you enjoy this tutorial, and uh, hopefully you guys get some good FPS. Uh, you can comment below in the box below, whatever, um, and tell me what FPS you get, and uh, this help helps you a lot. Um, actually, right now I'm I'm running at like 25, 30 FPS. It's not a great, but if I run Optifine, I can get between about 60 to 70 FPS. I don't know. I like I like up or er, DX40 or er, 
DX story. If I record with DX story, it's way better than uh, fraps for me. Um, anyways, guys, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And uh, have a good day. Thanks.